I want to talk to you today about trusting in the Lord and not putting your trust in man because man will fail you and we are fallible it's only by the grace of God that we have come to know the Lord Jesus and walked with him and made him our Lord he has given us the faith to trust him and believe in him for eternal life have you ever heard of the scripture in Matthew chapter 7 it says that we will know the tree by its fruit sometimes people are producing bad fruit but it is hidden we don't know that they're producing bad fruit because we only see them on Sunday standing behind a pulpit and preaching the Word of God we don't know what their lives are like 24 7 really no one knows the heart of a man or a woman except the Lord by the Spirit it says also in Matthew 7 verse 21 not everyone who calls out to me Lord Lord will enter the kingdom of heaven only those who actually do the will of my Father in heaven will enter. On Judgment Day, many, let me say that again. On Judgment Day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, we prophesied. In your name we cast out demons in your name and performed many miracles in your name let's stop there for a moment number one okay prophesied or proclaimed the Word of God are there not false prophets to this day let me tell you something there are some people that really have the gift of God operating in their lives they're great teachers they're great at speaking and telling the Word of God to people explaining it they have huge followings but there's something that God is saying here, isn't he? The Lord is saying to us, not all of them are going to enter in. Even though they have had success and prophesied in the Lord's name. Not only that, but they have cast out demons we don't see that much in the Western Church we don't see uh, pastors or leaders in the church uh, casting any demons out now maybe that's the problem but apparently these people had an authority in Jesus name to cast out demons you know deception is something that I can see Satan wanting people to think that somebody to follow somebody who does not really know the Lord 
by giving them such authority. It's something to think about, but not to be confused about. This is why we must pray for the spirit of discernment. But not only that, they performed signs and wonders and miracles. Can you imagine? These people were able to do such things. There again, we have to use discernment and look at the heart of the person and, and ask the Lord, Lord, is this a true servant of yours? And not be taken by their actions. It's interesting because just a few verses ahead of that, the Lord was saying, you will know a tree by its fruit. Well, now, if I had seen somebody prophesy, cast out demons, heal the sick, raise the dead, I would have thought that was pretty good fruit. But apparently, the Lord knows the heart. Because he says, But I will reply when they ask, Lord, why aren't we getting in? I will reply, I never knew you. Get away from me. You who break God's laws. Apparently, there was a secret sin life in these people. Apparently, they were breaking some laws that God considered very important, especially for leaders in the body of Christ. I'm sure committing adultery, perversion, practicing perversion, selling uh, children and women, trafficking for filthy lucre. I'm sure that's breaking God's laws. They're grievous sins. Now, could these leaders repent and turn to the Lord and come to know Him in a personal relationship? Absolutely. The problem is their heart has grown very hard by what they have done. So I just pray that the body of Christ will not be so upset and shocked that they will fall away. Because it says in the last days there will be a great following, a falling away. So my prayer is that you will not fall away. That I will guard my heart and you will guard your heart and that we will also not allow these revelations and exposures to cause us to not be able to trust again to love again to support the body of Christ and the people who lead us. Maybe the Lord is showing us there's going to be a different type of church that He wants to bring this great harvest into. Maybe it's going to be in your home, my home. Maybe we need to start preparing, buying Bibles, to have for all the new converts, get a microphone, 
get a, a stand of some type to stand behind to, to speak to people. Get some boxes of Kleenex. Get some communion cups. Uh, just start asking Holy Spirit, what can I do to get ready? Because many people are going to be leaving the church, but they're wanting the real. Who's for real? They want real faith. And they do want to belong somewhere. They want a family. People are hungry for truth. And when they realize how much we have been lied to, they're really going to be hungry for truth. And you and I have truth. We have the truth with a capital T. And his name is Jesus. We have the best gift to offer them that no one else could ever begin. So let's pray that God would do a great work and help us to be able to be ready to show people what God wants us to do. In Jesus' name, God bless you, and I pray that he will use this time in your life to repent of anything that you feel like is a hindrance to your faith. Examine your heart, take communion, come close to Jesus, the Good Shepherd, and know that he loves you with an everlasting love there's nothing you've done that is not uh, forgivable we've all sinned and fallen short of his glory but because of his sacrifice on the cross we can come boldly into the throne of grace and mercy to help us in our time of need and we can point others to that beautiful path of salvation. I am concerned for what is going to happen soon with the leaders that many have looked up to. And many of them have been involved with some very serious crimes. And we have been fooled, okay? But that is not the time to drop out. It's not the time to withdraw. It's not the time to be isolated. This is the time we really need each other. And this is the time that we need to go come together to pray to worship, and to get near the Lord Jesus by the power of His Holy Spirit and draw from the wells of salvation. Let's do that and let's get ready because there's going to be a large harvest. Let's prepare our lives, our hearts, and our homes. In Jesus' name, God bless you.